categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. I'm Ali Reeve, I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on Achanda.
How about that, everybody? A whole journey through the year in flowers. How absolutely fantastic. Lovely to have your company for this hour, uh, where you'll join myself with lovely Lou. I think you have to say the word lovely as well before. Uh, lovely Lou from Blossom. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. You? Feeling good? Feeling chipper? Yeah. yeah. This time of night, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Bad. Exactly yeah. this time of night. We're, we're loving that. Don't think about the long drive home. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Let's enjoy the time <laughs> while we're here together. Um, now, this is your second show of the day and what you brought to us and a lot of people are sort of agree because they love it this is what I noticed when I saw these are some really lovely significant stamps you know which yes. give you fabulous images mm -hmm. and this is you got something here to go through the whole year absolutely I love it all the seasons all the months whatever occasion you, this is going to be like your your staple collection yeah. uh, whether you go for just one set or all 12 uh, they're going to take you through every year again and again again and again which is great and if you really really love those big images you know these are feature stamps really that you're looking at here which are incredible um, you're going to get four different bundles to go through uh, for all of the seasons of the year and again there's no reason why you can't mix and match uh, you know when you sort of look at these, if you've got a favourite flower to work with, but you really are getting a fantastic offer because not only are you going to be getting the stamps themselves, you've got those dies to go with it, and they've all got their very own beautiful paper pads to go with those as well. So let's go, we'll go through the four seasons together, and uh, let's start off with where we are right now, which is in the winter months. And uh, again, just talk to us a little bit about the, the, the was, it, was it again for the idea to get those larger ideas, those larger images to go through? Absolutely. You've hit the nail on the head there when you say, like, your focal image. Your, yeah. This is going to be the main piece on your cards, but alternatively, you can absolutely be creating backgrounds with these. Um, I've shown you some different ideas in the 5 p.m. show that I know you can watch back yes. now um, that doesn't always use the full image, so you can snip them down. If you do prefer to do smaller cards, you can absolutely still use those. It's just nice to have the option to do a big piece sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, it's, you know, and, they, and they, they really do stand out. And there's no reason, again, why I'm sure people will find a way to just add in those little touches around it oh, but when you've got those I mean they are gorgeous and again I'd imagine for people that just love their colouring uh, to yes. work through I'm also showing you here we've got uh, paper pads for each of the seasons uh, but these are absolute I mean I know we've got the, th the happy birthdays in here thinking of you for those but these are really beautiful papers to work with as well Lou these they are gorgeous are, they are gorgeous I think they're 180 GSM there so they're borderline cardstock there beautiful for your matting and layering perfect backgrounds for these uh, flowers that you've got the stamps and dies because of course you can coordinate them so you've got all three of the flower types in that paper pad there and like you say you've got ribbon strips in there borders and such like you've got die cut elements you can fussy cut into them as well oh uh, yeah want of course to. yes all of those options but they just work so well with those stamps they are absolutely fabulous there's a lot in there you know each one of these bundles got a huge amount for you if you'd like to go for the winter collection we'll go through all the seasons for you if you want to go for the winter collection it's zero four one one zero four and this is for uh, December uh, January and February, of course, in those ones for you. Now, you can get these home for as easy now as just £22.48 and pence if you want to go for your first of your two flexes. But that does include your paper pads, you've got your uh, lovely stamps, large stamps in here, and those beautiful uh, dies that will work with it as well. So, let's move on from the winter months, and we're going to go into the springtime, of course. Now, there's a lot of occasions as well in spring. We're going to start thinking going into Easter or all those as well. But some Absolutely. lovely elements to bring out here, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, so Certainly we've got the daffodil, which for me is the most significant of probably yeah, all the flowers. We absolutely. only see it for so many weeks a year. I love that we can put it on our cards now. I used this in um, the, the last hour we did actually the daffodil, but all three of the flowers are beautiful. Yeah. The, the detail in them, as you can see there, is stunning. It's so pretty. You really want to pick that out with a stamp. and. All of these will fit on an A5 stamping platform and an A5 die cutting machine. Oh, as well. right, great. I mean, they, and they are fabulous. And again, the details that are in there, as you mentioned, you know, from the leaves and the petals, uh, from all of those, they are absolutely gorgeous. The peonies there in May. Uh, and, and I love the fact that you have got the months you can be working with as well to bring them, you know, to sort of bring out those months as something special. I'm just going to show you again a little bit of the, uh, the papers that you can see again. Um, but they are beautiful. And they're really bright as well, the dafts that you've got in here as well. Yeah, I just hope that shows 
those up on the screen as bright as we can see them yeah. in the studio because they are beautiful. There's probably details in there that the camera just isn't going to pick up. Uh, you need to see the naked eye. But there's a lot of detail in the backgrounds of these. They are absolutely stunning. There's so much you're going to get just from the paper kit alone. Absolutely. Um, and then, of course, again, coordinating with the stamps and dies. And they are. Yeah, I love these softness as well that you can sort yeah. you know, You've got everything here. You've got mm. those really bright moments, but there's some very, very sort of beautiful pastels that come through uh, for all those lovely sort of elegance that you can see. Some really gorgeous, uh, all of these ones. So this is March, April and May. Uh, again, you've got £8 saving on these as well, so really good offers for you. Uh, a, per a, a perfect opportunity for you again uh, for £22.48, your first of your um, uh, payments. I just want to show you again look you see the size uh, that you can see we've got these as well i've just got your average size hands really do you know what i mean but again you can, i hope you get the perspective of the size of these as features uh, for the stamps themselves to work with you know so really go to town on your images i'm sure these are absolutely something when you're thinking oh yeah really something that's going to capture you straight away just one of those images with a sentiment again that's it you, you are you are there to go really uh, eight nine three double one nine that's just spring complete collection don't forget don't forget we've got the whole year for you here in stamps dies and papers uh, with all of those which is lovely now we're into those summer months so it's your shorts and t-shirts and a long cold drink with that you know with the condensation on the outside chopped up with the ice in there as well you know it's those moments when your gardens are looking bright and beautiful and there's a cheery disposition across the whole world we hope sometimes apart from 2020 but here <laughs> you've got all of that here and these are Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, these. Uh, do you have a favourite, by the way, Nana? Should I ask that? I'm not sure, Lou, but... Um, yeah, I actually really like the May flower, the, oh, the peony. The peony. My children were born in May, and peony's one of my oh. favourite flowers. Yes, well, that's that's fair enough. You're allowed to have those as well. Uh, but these are beautiful, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. There we are in July uh, that you can see, and they are stunning. They really are beautiful. Was it always your intention again? Did you always want to go for the sort of the big, large image with these when you thought about the whole... Yeah, so when, when the team put these together, I mean, we've... We... They had a discussion. We've seen flowers before. We know that um, lots of times, but never this size before. No. Um, and I think very often this is what's missing from people's stash. So those big focal points, if you need a quick card, yeah. this is going to provide it for you. You don't need to think about what other embellishments will work with it because simply die cut, colour if you want to, stamp or vice versa, stamp and then die cut. Pop it onto a card with the beautiful backing papers, you're done. You've got a gorgeous card. We've got some fantastic examples that are, I think most of them are behind there with you, Scott, um, that are really quite simple when you break them down, but right. beautiful cards, and they don't need anything besides some cardstock and these elements here. No, we're definitely going to go through it. I will pick up a lot more of those somewhere because they are beautiful. They really are gorgeous. Uh, we'll get you a chance to, to, to see some of all of these as well to work with it. At the moment, summer is in the lead at the moment. Oh. At the moment, summer is in the lead as well. Uh, 871194 if you want to go for the summer collection for you. Uh, uh, 4496 for those, of course. They are split on your easy pay as well as your flexibly if you wanted to. Last but not least, uh, then we've got the autumnal tones, of course, that you'll be looking at here with these flowers. The complete collection again. So you've got September, October and November. So those autumn times. But again, really beautiful flowers that you can work with. Uh, I really like these. Again, I'm not sure what colours he would be in originally. Uh, when you think about these in nature, are yeah, they just in a complete blues. collection? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, this one would actually be purples and blues, but you can use any colour, can't you? Yeah, you can. Corals, really, it's up to you. Let's show one with the purple as well. Let's yeah. go with the, with, the, with the soft purples, which is absolutely beautiful. But this is, I mean, I'm going to show you some more of the samples as well as we go through. Um, but just to give you a scale, and again, the idea, you say there's a quick make to go yeah. with. Um, how really... about that? Just one of those that you've done, and just a little bit there, you've got some colours that have just been added on there on the outside, but that is an absolutely gorgeous, no, not just a card, but again, something like this framed is a beautiful image to have, isn't it? It really is, and so quick to put together, and I certainly don't want to do our fantastic design team any disjustice, because they are really talented, yeah. but they've just proved that you can get really, really quick and beautiful cards 
from these sets. They are fabulous. 323603. Three. Again, your two payments are £22.48 if you'd like to spread the cost, of course, those. And you're going to be getting your paper pads in there exactly the same uh, as you've seen throughout the same style with these. 323603. Three. Uh, now, if you've got anything, of course, in your baskets, I know people are popping them in there all the time. Don't forget, after about five or six minutes, they do get taken out of the baskets. I don't want you to miss out on these ones. Please make sure if it's in your basket, you do check them out so you can keep hold of them as well. If you'd like to add a few extra items in there, of course you can do. We're going to get to some demos for you as well. I uh, just want to let you know that we have got the C6 5x5, 5x7, and we've got 200 of each of those as well. Uh, there's uh, 600 bags in total uh, for just 11 99 So a massive, massive, massive saving for you, of course. And you may be wanting to add a few of these in decoupage, etc., and work them through. You might need your red liner tape uh, to go through all of these to bring them up. Of course, we do love this, don't we? We've got to have three, six, nine, and 12 mil, uh, 12 reels in total. It comes in a cute little bucket. Why not? 359 310, 12 pounds saving. Perfect for bringing all of those projects together. Possibly you're thinking about some of these working with your handmade papers as well. These are gorgeous if you're looking for your texture as well. Uh, all of these are absolutely stunning as part of your seven day savers. These are just 9 99 as well. You're getting 25 sheets in total. All of those are on the website for you. Uh, 508798 if you're looking to get those. Right then, Lou, what collection are you going to be working with to start with? So I'm going to start with uh, the winter. I'm going to go into December, first oh. of all. So we'll start where we are now. That sounds um, good. But saying that, I have to say, please don't worry about the months. Um, no. We'll look at the flowers. If there's flowers that you love, go with that. It doesn't matter what month it is because you don't have to use the month. The month is joined onto the flower itself but what I've actually done is snipped through uh, the yeah. rubber there Cut away. Um, yeah and just then if I want to incorporate the month and the type of the flower I can do but otherwise I can just use the flower on its own and I'm going to use the flower on its own because what I didn't mention is that all of these sets not only do they have the beautiful spray or stem of flowers you also get additional stamps and these are layering so these are going to layer over whatever flower heads you have okay. or le foliage or something that's included in the design. So this is your decoupage. Okay, so if you do the whole thing, the flowers included, you can then do some layering, you can do some lifting, some rolling, some um, adding of dimension throughout the whole image. So I'm going to take one of these flower heads and I'm actually going to create a card just with this one. I'm not going to use the whole... Uh, the, all, all the stems there, the main image. And this is just really showing you that versatility again, mm. um, just so you can see that you, sometimes you want to make smaller cards with smaller elements and That's sometimes true. larger cards. So it's whichever you prefer at the time. And I know it changes. I change. I certainly start, change the style I do every yeah. day. You've got to keep it interesting for yourself as well. Absolutely. Uh, but, I mean, like, it's interesting when you say don't have to worry about the months necessarily. And I'm not, you know, a massive gardener by any way. And I, I know what looks pretty, but I wouldn't know sometimes the names. And there are some, some flowers I could associate with certain times of the year. I get yep. that. But just the images of there with a get well card for any time of year or thinking of you, any one of these flowers would work beautifully for those kind of key messages, like you say, Abs isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, they really would. I just, I, I would just say, just go with the ones that attract you the most by image. Don't worry about the names. We had to name them something. and the months. The months obviously just sort of stood out to us, but yeah, don't worry about that too much. And, and some of these are, by the way, when you go through, if you really like these ones, they are available in their individual pairings as well, right across the board. So, for example, if you are looking for one of those in particular that you're looking at, you go, OK, you get the stamp set and you get the dies to go with it. So if you do have a favourite, a particular favourite of those, they're only $13.99 for those really beautiful, luxurious, larger stamps. You get the die set with it. Uh, you can go for any one of those individually as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Or oh, if you just want the paper pads as well, uh, those are available individually. And that's brilliant price. $10.99. That's 36 sheets, of course, to work with, which is brilliant. Uh, if you do go for the bundle, you'll also be getting the £8 saving of course so loads of reasons to go for whichever suits you and what you like most of all and your budget of course which is fantastic which is lovely I do love that about apple blossom the the price is always fantastic yeah 
So I've been working away. I didn't interrupt you there because this isn't the most exciting part of this card. Uh, some people <laughs> like to see this bit put together, but essentially it's white on white on white. So um, <laughs> not yeah, great TV. Not great TV. <laughs> so I was quite happy that you kind of. And that's that all right. That's what I'm here Thank for. Thank you very much. It's okay. Uh, okay. I am just going to heat this, but now, this is the bit we I'll, like. Well, you might see it. You yeah, might be we'll able try. To see it. Um, but hopefully you can still hear me while this is on. Um, what I've done is I've basically stamped that, that one flower head all over this piece of white cardstock. The cardstock was smooth, um, so it stamps perfectly. And I did add, first of all, my anti-static powder in the little bag. I'm sure that's on the website. Mm -hmm. If you've not got that, it's well worth for your embossing getting that because that does prevent any of your embossing powder sticking where you don't want it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've stamped this all over. I've actually purposely used um, a dirty ink pad. Now, this is a clear ink pad, but I've used it so many times. You'll see the, um, the actual pad is a little bit grubby. Now, I've purposely used that because <laughs> that way I could see where I was stamping a little, just a little bit. And then I've gone over with a white embossing powder. So I've randomly stamped these flowers all over. But I have made sure there's one that's kind of central um, for where I want my sentiment to be. And I'll show you why in a moment. Now I'm just going to put this on a much faster speed just to speed up the melting of these flowers. Otherwise we'll be here all night watching white, <laughs> almost white paint dry, isn't it? I'm, so. uh, I'm just thinking also for... Um if you were to make your own wrapping paper, for example, because these are such lovely big images that you could work with, you know, they, they, they sort of take quite a bit of filling, you know, sometimes wrapping paper, but these are lovely to work and, re and to uh, uh, repeat, which is gorgeous. I love Absolutely. that as well. Definitely, and so many people are... I hope you can hear me over this, it's really loud. Um, so many people want to use recyclable paper yeah, now. Yeah, that's true, yeah. And are thinking about decorating paper, not just for Christmas either, no. because, of course, birthdays and things... Uh, the same thing now so this would be beautiful over brown paper yes yeah really nice these gorgeous gorgeous projects to work with gorgeous projects to color uh, and to work with decoupage you've got so many different ways of working with these and they are lovely big images right I'm nearly done I've got That's a couple right. more to do just getting there I don't know how well you can see that melting yeah we've got a lovely image of that actually oh really yeah Jimmy our director He's I think he's excelled himself on these ones <laughs> He is very, very good at what he does. Right, so just finish these off. I want to show you the full effect of the background, you see. So if I only did half of these, it wouldn't quite look right. So there we go. That's all melted now. We've got, do you know what, we've actually got some lovely, that is a really good image, actually. He's done well, hasn't he? He has done I mean, well. He doesn't get he a lot of credit well. for a lot of things he does, but he's done well. <laughs> he's well done, done well. Jimmy. So that is a nice background as it is. Even if you just want a white background that's embossed, uh, so you've got a very, very subtle pattern, that's right. really, really pretty. Yeah, it does look lovely. What I'm going to do, I'll just move this out of the way, is I'm actually going to bring in some inks. So I have got a bit of an odd combination. Okay. Uh, I've got a bit of a, a duck egg blue. I've got a brown almost with a ready tone to it and then I've got a ready orangey colour. Um, I've got a really big brush, blending brush here. It's actually a makeup brush. Um, my daughter saw it when it came in the post. She got all excited thinking it was her and it absolutely <laughs> was not. No, it went straight on the ink pad. Yep, definitely. Yep. There you go. Now use it on your face. Oh, I love darling. these. are so soft though, aren't they? Really? Yeah, they really are. But now you're really going to see that embossing coming to life. And just to show you, any of these stamps you can use like this, of course. So I'm going to do blue around about almost halfway down the card oh, That is there. looking beautiful. That on its own, I mean, you could just do that over the entire piece and you've Absolutely. got yourself your very own backing paper. Uh, I'm just going to clean this off on a piece of towel. I've actually got a towel at home and it is a piece of towel, proper, but like bathroom towel right. that I'd normally use at home. Um, then I'm just going to lightly go in with the brown. Now, Jimmy, the our director, we, he's done all that good work. He just undone it then when he said oh. uh, that will look great as a wallpaper. Not a wallpaper, sorry, I mean wrapping paper. I think he thought he was going to decorate his lounge <laughs> with this style. Well, uh, we as... were talking about wallpapers earlier. Oh, in were the you? Earlier show. Yeah, I, do, I don't think Jimmy was directing there actually. I'm sure he was. You never know. He gets everywhere. I oh, know he does. I oh, know. Um, but no, we were talking about wallpaper earlier. I did a card and myself and Fiona both said that would make lovely wallpaper. Oh. <laughs> so, so it's not, not, not as bad as you'd think. Oh, and that's then... okay. <laughs> that, that's looking beautiful. It's a, bit, it's a little bit different, isn't it? Now, yeah. I, I tend to make quite modern contemporary cards. And, you know, I looked at this set and I thought, I can see why some people would think they're tra for traditional card making. But I'm going to show you how you can 
make more modern cards with it. So there's a nice blend that going is beautiful. from the blue into an orange. And that's probably um, a colour combination that most people wouldn't think to use. Well, that works. Uh, I'm just going to go over with my kitchen towel now and I'm just going to rub off any excess off of the white embossing. Just polish that off, so just get any excess off and clean that up as well because later on I don't want orange on my cards. Uh -huh. So we talked about getting a, uh, a focal point or a centre image and uh, what we've got here, I think I got it out. Yes, yeah, so we've got the dies that fit over not mm. only the main image, stamped image, but also the smaller ones. So I'm going to take this centre one, for example, um, and just going to work around, try and find where it which matches angle it goes. up. Yeah. yeah, I think it's there, look. There we go. Now you might want to whiz this over with a heat gun um, for this next stage or wait for it to dry because what I'm going to do is tack this down and of course if your ink is wet it's not going to stick very well so we'll try and run it through as best we can without giving that chance. If you do it at home you won't have the time restrictions of a, not at all, no. of a, of a live show to worry about. So <laughs> no, you'll be fine. That. Yeah. You'll be fine. And like I say, these all of these dies will go through an A5 cut, die cutting machine. So I use uh, just the ordinary big shop. Right. Um, I do have a plus at home. I have lots of different machines, actually. Um, <laughs> even back to, oh, God, I used to have a cuttle bug. Oh. Uh, and that, that's an, a sort of an A5-ish size plate. They'll all go through those machines and, of course, bigger. Um, and then the stamps will go on. Um, you'll need an A5 stamping platform or acrylic block, and you can easily find those. They're not actually as big as, as they sound to find. So uh, that's what you'll need for the large stamps. Perfect. So that has just cut that out with the border. That's left me with a little bit of border around there. I'm just going to take this a, a smaller brush and that same brown, I'm just going to go around the inside and just darken the centre there. And do you know what, that also to me looks like a starfish shape. So oh, yeah. if you want to do an under the water, like yeah. a sea theme, absolutely, you can use the dies for that. Nice so time. pop that. I would use that as a tag, maybe on a gift bag oh, or something great. to coordinate with the card when you're giving a gift. Yeah, but, lovely idea. Um, but yeah, I've got I've got one here that I've then trimmed. It's very similar, but I've trimmed it down. That's going to fit my card. Okay, so coming to my card, I have stamped there a sentiment, and that should fit perfectly. So I actually placed my card, and then I stamped my sentiment. So I know that's in the middle. But now I want to re-stamp that flower, this flower again, so that it fits in there. So first thing I need to do is make sure I've got the right shape, like so. I've stamped my sentiment onto a piece of copy paper. I'm going to keep my um, my backing paper that we've created there, and I'm going to place that over the top of my sentiment. That just masks that off. I've actually cut round that really quite closely. Yeah, that's great cutting that. <laughs> Very close. I do like a little bit of fussy cutting, not not too much. <laughs> just a little bit is fine, just like that. <laughs> not That's enough it. for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just going to very carefully hover this over. I'm going to put my head over, so I apologise. I'm going to have to get right over and straight. So you're all going to see whether my roots are done at the moment. And I'm just going to <laughs> be careful and place that down. And lift that up and then just remove that and we've got oh, the brilliant. sentiment. If I just remove that, you've got your sentiment oh, that's inside beautiful. of um, your flower there. So that's another way you can use that to stamp over a sentiment. Of course, if you've got a stamped sentiment already and you want to put the entire bouquet going around it. So, for example, you might want to stamp December, do that separately, mask it off, stamp the bouquet over the top and you'll leave it'll be left like so. So I've got it on both sides because of course we always have to have a trial run to make sure it's worked okay. <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to pop this down. Now actually I'm going to put it down with foam tape quickly just to raise this up. So a bit of foam tape on both sides and I'm making sure my foam tape is really quite deep. So I'll do it up the two edges there, a little bit in the middle. There. I love the fact that this is done with one, just one of the stamps, you know, one, from these. One of the and, and the, One of the smaller pieces, not even the main feature mm. part. So already start thinking about how this could look in any of the other 
um, options that are available on the show as well. Don't forget, we've got right the way through January through to December uh, with all of those, all with different florals uh, that you can see. And you've got the large feature, then you've got all these other elements that go with it. So again, really, it's a huge scope uh, for all that you've got uh, available to be able to work with, which is lovely. This is just Absolutely. one of those smaller elements. You know, it's great. Of course. And, um, I mean, you may prefer different colour combinations. Mm. You can absolutely do that. I've not paid any attention to the colours that this flower should be um, because I'm doing the background in whatever colour I like. You yeah. haven't actually got the colour of the flowers incorporated there because you've just got the outline, so you don't need to worry. So I've probably done that note. Maybe sure I haven't done that upside down. That would just top, <laughs> top off. So that's without any gems, any ribbons, anything like that. Yeah. Um, you could really carry on decorating and embellishing, but there's just some techniques that for you that you can use. Absolutely brilliant. I love that. That is great. Thank you so much for sharing that one. Really, really lovely, simple idea, but really massively effective as a, as a project as well. Uh, Lou, I'm just going to go down the counter and let people know. Is that, is that okay? And yeah, then we'll come straight back to Lou uh, for more ways that you can be inspired to work with these. Because just as you heard uh, from Lou, you know, you have got the main feature. You're going to be getting your three sets. If you're going to go for the, um, the four different seasons, each season is going to have three months worth that you're looking at. You're going to get really lovely large feature stamp. Then you've also got the other elements that you can fit around that. Again, so if you want to work with this decoupage and other elements you want to bring out to it, you're going to get those in the stamps. Plus, you're also going to be getting on each of them, of course, the dies to go with them. Remember, by the way, as we're going through these, you can actually get each of the individual sets, uh, which would be the stamps and the dies that will go with them individually. So here's all of the wonderful uh, dies you're looking at and you can see here from the kind of size that we are talking for these images to work with which is lovely so not only are you going to be getting the dies that match beautifully with all those stamps those lead feature stamps but you're also going to be getting don't forget on each one of the seasons the appropriate uh, um, book and your pad to go with it. So these are your winters here. These are all A4 that you're looking at. You're going to get three each of the 12 designs and they're 180 uh, GSM. But you've got some lovely beautiful pastels but you've also got some really beautiful bright colours that are going to go through. So on this one you've got like two different options on each one of those pages uh, to go through uh, to work with it. It's absolutely stunning. And again you've also got those with get well soon with love thinking of you and happy birthday and that's across all of those in different designs as well that you can see uh, so I'll tell you what I can show you as well uh, is some of the examples that you can work with and I'm just working with there we go you can see here this is the one that's worked in this is beautiful there we go you can see December on its own by the way uh, Actually, if you want to go for them individually, those at the bottom of the screen, you go only thirteen ninety nine. Uh, that would be for your stamp and the die set of each one of those to go with it. Uh, this is the same uh, stamp that's just been used as well. Then from Lou, you can see, but again, sort of uh, tripling them up and working with, but really lovely, big, big images uh, that you can see. How about this one? This is January's uh, that's working, and again, it's one big, beautiful feature piece. Uh, that again, everything else around it is absolutely stunning. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous, again, that you can see. Really, really beautiful. Again, we've got a little bit of sparkle there, if I can catch the light on it as well. But beautifully made by the team here. I mean, these are stunning. We're going into February here. Uh, that you can see. February is at the bottom of the screen as well if you'd just like to go for uh, beautiful February, of course, the month for romance uh, to look at. That is a lovely card, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful use of the papers uh, on those, which is gorgeous. And if I just get that one the right way around, we've got the thinking of you in February also. So, 041 104 if you'd like to go for the entire winter collection. 52.96. If you do go for that complete collection, you're going to get £8 saving and it's available on your flexi buy, so just two payments of just twenty two forty eight. So dies, the, the stamps, and the papers, all there, and a saving for you to go with it. And that is the whole of winter. Same, of course, for your beautiful spring that we're looking at here. And these are stunning. We've got March, April and May. But as you've heard from Lou as well, you know, the months are in there, but you don't need to necessarily stick to the actual months working with it. They are beautiful images to work with themselves. And again, to give you the scale, don't forget, you can go individually if you wanted to. Um, but I've got you the, the dies here that you're looking at, again, to give you an idea of the size uh, that you can see that are working with, uh, which are absolutely beautiful. I think I've got the DAF here, uh, you can see, uh, that working with it. But again, you can go for them individually, as well as the whole collection. But in the collection, 
that's where you're getting your biggest savings, of course, that you can look at that with that £8 off. If I just bring in the paper pad as well, uh, here again, we've got all those beautiful colours uh, that work with it again. And if you want to go for these, again, uh, available at the bottom of your screen, uh, just for the paper pads themselves. But really beautiful. And they are, I'm hoping you can really see just how fresh and bright and vibrant uh, the yellows are for the daffodil, for example. And you've got the beautiful little honeybee coming around them as well. Uh, the same sentiments all throughout, of course, uh, that we're looking at, but some really gorgeous, gorgeous options on all of those. Uh, I'll give you a little example of how you could work with them. And there are loads and loads. Again, Testament's a really good bundle is going to be just the amount of samples that there are huge amounts uh, that you can see. Here's the beautiful peonies. And uh, look at that. I mean, a real feature, a little ribbon on there with the bow. But that is a huge, beautiful piece that you can uh, look towards working. And that's what this, I think you'll agree, these stamps really give you. If you really want to go to town with a really large feature piece, uh, then these are absolutely perfect. Just something that with a happy Easter on there is absolutely stunning, isn't it? We've got. Uh, loving the dafts. That again with that paper being used behind, uh, really bringing them out. Uh, look at that. Get well soon. That is stunning, isn't it? Really beautiful, beautiful card that we're working with here. And the papers really do complement uh, everything else that's going with all of these. They are stunning. 893 119. Eight pounds saving again if you go for the complete collection. But if you do want to break them down, there's individual components that you're looking at. Of course, the website will help you choose which one of those. If you have a certain penchant uh, for one of them in particular, uh, then please do go uh, for those ones. Uh, June, July and August, I believe we've got for you here. Uh, Let's uh, just give you, a, again, the size of the dies that will work with these uh, that you'll be able to bring into it. But again, if there's anyone in particular, you can go for the individual uh, stamp and the die set that would work for those uh, if you so wanted to go for those uh, in particular. But again, your saving is on the complete bundle. So that's the size, the scale that we're looking at uh, for all of these, which are stunning. And again, if I just show you the, the front of the paper pads here, because I want to know, I know that we're going to get to a lovely demonstration again as well, uh, just to show you on side here that all the different options that you've got uh, with regards to all those images that you can see there and again we're looking at uh, uh, three of each of the 12 different designs uh, that are found across the paper pad for those they are stunning 871194 or the pad available individually uh, last but not least though we go into autumn is it really is I've just heard that from our producer that's her favorite actually um, autumn always her favorite time of year is that true? Well, there you go. Uh, I'm going to go straight into some lovely samples on here uh, because they are beautiful, real, real features. We were looking at this one earlier on, um, but you can see the scope of what you're going to get. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely fabulous. Here we are. Uh, but just that one single piece, there's something very romantic about that look, isn't it? Really calming, very, very understated, but really beautiful for all of them. And then we're into October. Uh, to look at there. This is your Autumn Complete Collection, 323603. Again, the bundles where those big savings are for you. You're going to get your paper pads in there as well. But if you're taken smitten, uh, devoted to one of those in particular, go for those for the stamp and the die set as complete or the paper pad on its own. You can do 323603. The website, as I mentioned, or the w's.hachanda.com is where you will find everything that you could pop into uh, your collection, of course. Uh, now, so all just here, my producer said she wants the whole winter collection there. She's looking at that. But she also wants July. Oh, she's going to show us how to do this, you see, popping them all into the basket as well. And then actually, you can make that over two payments if you would like to, and pop that in and get your flexi order going. So now you can just go that from as little there as uh, your 33.43. That's including your delivery price as well. Uh, really great ways of making those savings work for yourself, of course. Uh, whichever one you really like, go for them. But the options you're going to get with these stamps are big. There's an awful lot you'll be able to do with these. Uh, they are stunning, and so are the papers to go with them, a lovely complimentary kits uh, that I know you're going to get a lot from as well. Uh, right then, so that's everything. You, let you put them into your baskets, but I think we should go back to Lou uh, for some more demonstrations. What are we looking at now then, Lou? Uh, so we're coming back to your watercolour, actually. Um, oh. Not as not quite as talented with watercolour as I saw you doing earlier. <laughs> that, that, that flute so, from earlier on. Yeah, that, that was amazing. <laughs> Me and Fiona were stood there in awe. We really were. It was oh, fantastic. Listen, I had my own, my own overhead for a second there for the camera. I was very much hoping they wasn't going to find my bald spot. <laughs> 
we were we were watching the painting completely. Oh, lovely Matthew Palmer! Else. What a teacher! What a lovely man! <laughs> it was amazing. Um, so I'm using the stocks from April. Um, I love these because they can come in absolutely any colour, so you don't need to worry about what well, I say any colour. Most colours, yeah, that you can imagine. Do, yes. um, I've cut myself a piece of watercolour paper because, of course, watercolour paper you need um, if you're going to be using watercolour paints. If you, the idea is if you don't use a watercolour paper and you just use your regular smooth cardstock, most watercolours will bleed into the fibres of the cardstock, right. so that's why we want to use watercolour. But what I do do is I, I do do is use the smooth side rather than the textured oh, side okay. if you've got the option with your watercolour paper. Um, and with watercolour as well, you've probably heard all this in the earlier show, The paint, if you can just stretch to the best paper you can possibly buy yeah. uh, for your paints because that is really going to make all the difference. It's about having the right tool for the right job, isn't it? Absolutely. And there is a difference. And you will notice the difference when you start using a quality water paper compared to something that's mediocre. Right, good advice, good advice. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp these off the edge of my panel um, again, again, this is, I apologise, this is going to be uh, white embossing on white paper. I didn't think this through for these, the, the order that I'm doing these demonstrations in. Uh, but the good thing is I can't see where I've stamped, so this really is going to be quite, <laughs> quite random where these three go. Just three of them, that's all I'm going to do. Uh, the detail in this particular stamp is absolutely beautiful. There's, There's huge so, amounts, isn't there? So many little, little petals in here and it picks them all out and you don't have to do any of that work so I'll very quickly just emboss this for you bring in my cardstock again so I can capture my powder uh, because I want to get on with the uh, the painting side of it so hopefully there you can just about see um, the detail from Ooh, the yeah, powder yeah, there we, yep. are. we are there. just put my powder away because I do knock things over very easily so for the sake of 10 seconds putting that away, um, I'll quickly heat this, I'll whiz it very quickly on that's the highest right, setting. That's okay. I was just thinking, I think that, that flowers themselves must be the, is it, they must be the number one, you know, which, uh, you know, when you think universally, a, f a flower, whether it be a single red rose, whether it's a dozen, whether it's a beautiful bouquet, whether it is a garden scene, whether it's wildflowers, whatever it is, they, they are synonymous, aren't they? Because they are so instantly recognisable. Yeah. And individuals, when you look at them, conjure up so many sort of emotive feelings again when you look at them. There is something that's associated with them that something like this is a set when you've got such large images to work with, but you can also break them down. I mean, this really is a, a sort of, a, not to say a must-have, but you're going to answer a lot of problems and a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, issues you might have mm. before with this collection to go with. Absolutely. I love that you can personalise it with the month, but on the other hand, you don't have to add no. that in. No, no. So, uh, so what we've got there now is three, three stems of the stocks. You can just about see the texture there That's great, on the huh? paper. I mean, beautiful if you just want a, an embossed effect as well, but let's add some colour pretty quick great. because it does get a little bit boring without the colour. Uh, I've actually got watercolours here. Um, I used watercolour pens in the last hour. You can water down as well your, um, your distress inks if you want to, things right, like that. Right. And I'm just going to apply some heavy colour in the centre of each of these flowers. And then I'm going to dry off my brush and just drag that colour around. But I'm going to go over ever so slightly. So I'm going to put heavy colour down the middle of each of the flowers. And what it's going to do, it's going to pull and it's going to sit in uh, the grooves of the raised heat embossing. Oh, right, and then I'm right. just going to take a, a wet brush, a very wet brush, and just drag it around the edge and let that walk, let that colour sort of seep out Ooh, a little bit. Oh, that's looking nice. That. And then I'm just going to blotch a few little bits of heavier colour in there and give it a bit of a spritz. So there's no no talent involved here, not like you were doing earlier. Nothing, <laughs> nothing like that. It is purely just really just playing with the watercolour. So I'm going to allow, allow that, like I say, back to sit for a moment while I right. work on the other two in a slightly different shade. So just dampen that down first. I'm going to use uh, a purple. I'm trying to find where my purples are. I think that's a purple. That is. This is a pinky colour purple. I'm going to do the same. Oh, so that's a nice colour. It is lovely colour. These, I think, purples and blues for these look lovely. But you can do pinks. You can do oranges. You could leave them white as well. Yeah. Um, things like that. So I'm really sort of splashing this on. 
What, what is your, your, Lou, what's your, your background? What was your sort of first love with it? Was it the car making? Was it painting? Was it drawing? Where, where, where are you and, and uh, how did it start for you? Card just while make, we're doing this section. Probably card making, to be honest. Right. Um, I made my, my first wedding invitations. I made those and it really went on from there. Right? Oh, I see. I didn't immediately pick up card making. I did that to save money. Um, as you do sometimes when you're planning a wedding, sort of what, what can we DIY to yeah. save a bit of cash? Um, and yeah, I just thought, well, let's make the wedding invitations. We popped along, got some materials, didn't really know what we were doing. And looking back now, I could have done it so many, so differently. <laughs> but you know, it, it, I didn't. And um, they, were, they were okay. They were absolutely fine. Some people loved them. So uh, I then bought those materials out. I kept everything in a carrier bag. That's how few materials I had. And <laughs> I bought them out quite a few years later. I was pregnant with my daughter and uh, needed something at home to do because yeah. I was actually made redundant at the time. Oh, so I see. So being pregnant, couldn't get a job very easily. Um, and I only had a few months left, really, anyway. So, yeah, I just... Um, you found you falling back I, into it again. I just, yeah, I found I was nesting. I think I was clearing things out. And I found the bag, and and that's it. I just started playing, and then went to look for some more. To I thought I'll do I'll do my auntie a card, and um, I needed a bit more ribbon, so I went to hunt a bit more ribbon, found a <laughs> shop, and the rest is history. As wow. They say. Yeah. So card making was definitely, and it soon went into once I had children, it soon went into scrapbooking. So right. uh, there, I've just um, just mopped up some of the excess there, but I've left some dark areas. Mm in there um I, d I would do the green as well but i'm conscious i've got another demonstration hopefully to get to so i've got one here that's been dried off obviously it oh. lightens a bit as it dries um same sort of thing obviously i've switched the colors around but you can see where that is beautiful the color it, it's one of these things there we where, go look at that yeah. oh, that, oh jimmy he's done well hasn't he <laughs> just, oh, yeah thank this you is, it's, it's, <laughs> I tell you what, he enjoyed that. He's going to use that as his ringtone now, what you just said. That was lovely. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. I've said it to him a hundred times before. He's brilliant. <laughs> um, no, so you can see there where the colour varies throughout the whole flower because it sits and pools in areas. Yeah, so the colour is lovely. stronger. Um, and by using that white embossing, you still keep the detail. It's very, very subtle, very uh, pastel shades, beautiful, really, really delicate. And I did the same with the green It actually looks like a beautiful paper that you'd have in a paper pad, that itself yeah. there. That's really yeah. lovely, that move. and of course you feel it. You've got the bumps and things as well, so the bumps. So it's very tactile then. Um, so, yeah, so let's pop this down. I've chosen a blue that kind of matches the watercolour mm -hmm. ink, one of the ones that I used, or the paint that I used, sorry. So I've already cut these to size. I've already done one, one upside down or back to front card tonight, so it should be done for the night, but um, <laughs> still check it just in case. So there's one Always layer, time. and then that's going to sit over the top, and that will really bring that blue out. That's lovely, that. Really lovely. And then I've got a sentiment. Now, I've been using a lot of sentiments from um, my collection that's coming out next week. I keep name-dropping it, I know. Ooh, um, when's that coming out? But hmm? It's next Wednesday. This time next week, uh, I say this time, all, all day Wednesday, I think I'm here. Oh, great. I've got quite a few shows Wednesday. Oh, lovely. Next week. So uh, this sentiment is part one, one very small part of it i've used white two layers of white foam that i've die cut and then the same blue that i've used for the matting and layering ah. um so that just again it brings that out that looks blues. really nice that so it's very very pretty and it just i just thought it works really well with the style of this card which is not so much the modern sort of style that I usually would go with. Mm. Um, but I think with the watercolour, you still get away with it looking quite contemporary. I tell you what, they really, I know, I know we're trying to fit in another, another demo you're talking about, but I'm just, just thinking the way that you've used, you know, just one, just one stamp that we've got here, you know, and yeah. the, the last one you did with one of the sort mm -hmm. of the main flower heads and everything, it just gives you a scope. If you're going for the whole collection, there is so much people mm. have to do with these. And it's, and it's the scale of these that allows you to sort yeah. of work with these. It's lovely. Absolutely. Because of the size, I always say with something large, you can use a small portion of it. You can yeah. scale down. But when you've got something small, it's harder to make that bigger. Work it up. So yes. certainly by, by getting something larger, you've then got the option of using a smaller piece of it. Look um, at this. this. As the example is with these and with the last card, I did as well.
That is a beautiful card, Lou. That is absolutely gorgeous. And I love that technique as well, just adding that little bit of extra colour, deeper colours as well. Just, <laughs> just as, as Lou just on. says, just chuck it on. Yeah. Just chuck it on. Well, listen, if you can chuck things on, it looks that good. Uh, you're doing something very, very well indeed. That is beautiful. Thank you very much. Do you need just a moment just to get ready for the... Uh, Final demonstration. I'm happy to carry on if you're, if you're Let's carry ready. on. Yeah, Let's continue on. That. It's much better to watch you. Get that done. Lovely. Okay, so I'll just peel my stamp off from my last block. Um, I'm going to be working with February, so we're going back to the beginning of the year with this next one. I can't say this flower, I apologise. Maybe maybe you can have a better go at it. What was it again? Ranunculus. Does that sound about right? Fiona could say it. She, oh. was, she was brilliant at it. Was she? Yeah. That's amazing because she does nothing in the garden at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, she said she knew that one because you, uh, it had been on the show before with something. Oh, um, I see. I think it might have been with Heartfelt Creations. Oh, so, I see, um, I see. I'm going to take your word that you said it correctly. No, so I that I don't try and embarrass myself. When at I'd the say... end of the day, when you look at a flower, you know what the, uh, the, the common name is yes. for it, don't you? So The red one. The red one. The red, I like that red one. That's yeah, lovely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that pretty big one over there. So um, I'm not. I don't need to stamp all of this. So I'm not worried about putting it on a really big block to cover everything because I'm only going to be stamping sort of this this top section of it. Um, I'm going to be stamping in a pale colour. Well, paleish. I'm going to use my smoky grey. I've got a feeling I bought the wrong brown. I've usually got a much paler brown in the Versafine here. Um, the reason I use Versafine is because I can then use my watercolour inks with it afterwards and it won't react or bleed. I did do a demonstration earlier this evening where, uh, I think it was the very first one with the January flowers, oh, yeah. um, where I did use um, a Distress Ink to stamp with and then when I did my colouring in with watercolours, the inks, the, the outlines sort of bled in and it looked more, more pastel-y. Oh, so I see. It wasn't, wasn't too obvious there. So, now, very, very quick colouring with this one, because I know sometimes people don't have the time. I'll put my hand up to this as well, the patience to always colour in. <laughs> it's not always something that I want to be doing. So, um, a blending brush and two different colours of ink. I have got a green as well, I'll do in a moment. I'm going to go with a light colour and just go all over this. And I'm going to overlap the edges as well because when we die cut these out, there's a slight border and this just helps you to allow you to uh, line these up really quite easily. So I'm just going to go over and Of course, it does look a bit messy at the moment, but when you cut them out, it's all nice and neat again. Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. So that's, that's a lovely thing. They do come with the dies as well, just in case it was just tuning in now, just flicking across there, uh, that you will get the dies. So each stamp set that you're looking at, you do get the dies that go with them directly. So you can actually um, get a perfect cut for them, for example. So here we are. This is the whole set. Uh, and so you get big, big dies because they are big, big stamps to work with, of course, for all of those, uh, which is lovely. So don't have to worry about thinking if you're not, you're not too keen on too much cutting out, you don't worry, you've got the dies to go with it. Uh, but also if you wanted to go for those individual pairings, so the stamp and the die set, you can go for those individually, of course you can. All the different options are there for you on the website. Um, so that's only $13.99 uh, if you wanted to. But if you go for the entire set of each of those seasons, you get the paper pads in there as well and that eight pound savings. So uh, loads of reasons um, on those. Exactly. Sorry, I'll just let people know because no, we get people watching the time, don't we? Just yeah, we do. In. Yeah, I'm wondering what on earth she's up to. <laughs> Making a right mess of that. Um, so I'm just then going over with a green over the not the foliage, the stems, and the leaves. And like I say, I am overlapping completely. This is just a very quick colour in with the flowers. I don't know whether you saw or not with the flowers. I did the one base colour in the pale, and then. I did the centre slightly in a slightly darker purple. Again, very very roughly. All oh, right, yeah. But when, once they're cut out, um, you, you know, you can't see you can't see the messy bits. No, no, it exactly. All looks nice and neat and refined. <laughs> so coming to the dies, you do have the die for the main image, and then you also have included in the sets the dies for the decoupage pieces, the additional flower heads that you've got in each set, and for the words, and they're separate also. Well. They're, they're together by a little tab, but you can easily break those apart yeah. if you want to. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you're stamping it together, you may as well die cut it together. So just lining this up, I usually get my head right above it. And it's all right. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't too long ago I dyed my hair. should be okay. Um, <laughs> so 
just popping One died years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, I'm not quite at that stage just No, yet, you're all right. Not too, you're okay. Not too far off. I'm just going to trim this down because I'm using a smaller die-cutting machine today. I bought in my smaller machine just really to show you that although we're talking large stamps, large dies, you don't have to use a large machine if you do just have like an A5 platform. Yeah. It's absolutely fine. Uh, if you have a really small, small machine and you're just getting into die-cutting, for example, um, you can absolutely still use the individual stamps and dies um, with that. They'll, they'll go through that. smaller ones, yeah. So you can see there, just pop this bit out of the middle as well. So that's all cut out there beautifully. That's nice. Now, let's build this up. How long have I got left? I know we uh, we've talk. got uh, four, just over four minutes. Oh, loads of time. Um, <laughs> say loads of time. I sound <laughs> confident then. Um, I've just somehow put together a sort of paper comb, flattened paper comb, just folding a piece of paper. I just folded it lots and lots until it worked. And looked, <laughs> I think that's how they wrapped it. That's the best presentation I think I've seen. I've somehow made together this by really folding know. it up. I thought I'd be clever and I'd show you how to fold a paper flower wrap thing yeah. and I couldn't work it out so I've botched it a little bit. Just, no, I'll be honest. I love okay? the honesty. Because otherwise I will have people messaging me on social saying, have you got a template for that fold? <laughs> I really haven't. I'm sorry. It was a six by six piece of paper. I folded it in half into a triangle and then I kind of wrapped it around itself and tucked the top in. That's the best explanation. But it worked. It did work. I'm sure you could do some, probably find something better. There probably are templates out there. Um, but no, I Did you make those. confetti cones for your wedding as well? Oh, God, no. You could have done that oh, no, now, no. you see, with those. Well, no, not like that. What did I do for... We had bubbles. Oh, we oh lovely. Allowed, we weren't allowed confetti, so we had bubbles. Oh, so. what a lovely idea. Yeah, How I lovely. Do, re do remember that now. I was suddenly thinking I, d I didn't have confetti at my wedding. I remember why now. You had bubbles. Yeah, that's why. Uh, which was it was nice. It was a hot day, so they were actually quite quite welcome. Ah, oh, lovely. So just... I've got, obviously, two layers here because I've already done one layer. I'm just popping them all in to this uh, this bouquet here, filling the bouquet up. Let's pop another head behind there, and then a little one down the bottom, like so. So we've filled up that flower, that wrap of flowers, and then I've just got a nice bright word, white word. Don't be afraid to use a white for a sentiment either, particularly mm -hmm. if you've got a white card base and then lots of colour on top. A white sentiment will often just bring it all together and will still stand out. Uh, and yeah, then absolutely. I've just got time to pop a couple, or I think I've just got time, to pop a couple of little oh, yeah, green, green sequins and just a few little sparkles. So when you sort of move the card around, you have a little bit of light flicking around. And put some on the on the flowers. But again, I just love the scale of these as well, that you can create yeah. a real feature Remain events on these cards and these pieces. Oh, definitely. I mean, they can be, they'll be a wow factor card. Can yeah. you imagine if you did buy, maybe you've bought an entire um, season, so yes. all of, I don't know, all of uh, autumn, you've got three different flowers there for all the different colours you can create with those. You can create a bouquet oh, of oh, all, lovely. all the different different flowers there. It would be really gorgeous. Maybe put it in something a bit nicer than a flower wrap like that, but... You know. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fantastic. Really, really lovely. And again, you know, because you do get the dies, if, you, if you're not too keen on doing the fussy cutting or anything like that as well, you've got all of that. So you can get really lovely big images and all that as well. So, so simply done as well, which is lovely. Lovely there, Lou. Thank you really, really <laughs> so much you. indeed. Uh, just to give you, a, a, again, just to sort of carry on that theme and just so you can see some of the ideas that you can create. You can see that single one that would have been all cut out beautifully put there. Such a lovely simple background to that but the feature certainly is there for you to sort of see but you can go as detailed as heavy as you want with all of those but your main feature is always going to be uh, the flower itself however you work with them loads of different ways uh, of bringing them to life and they are starting from the leaves the petals even again in here uh, that you can see that's just done with the beautiful silver uh, that comes out there. But again, you get that image. Uh, that's got, and don't forget, you've got the other elements as well. So whether it's just the petals that you're working with, so you are, can decoupage up and work with them, uh, but they really do stand out. I mean, I don't know which ones your favourites are. There are so many fantastic ways of working uh, with all of these. They are beautiful. And don't forget in the paper pads, you do have the sentiments that are in there. You've got the happy birthdays, wishing... Uh, uh, um, Wishing you were best wishes, for example. You've got all of them. They are 
absolutely stunning. Uh, if you've got air, uh, whatever in your in your baskets, please make sure you do get those checked out. Don't let them bounce out. Please make sure you get them checked out. Uh, Lou, thank you so much for tonight. You're uh, very so, welcome. So you're back in next week. Next Wednesday, I have my own brand launching. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, I can't tell you the times I've forgotten. I'm here all day. You're here all day. <laughs> I'm here all day, yeah. Uh, and to, right, so we'll make sure Wednesday you're here to keep uh, Lou company and to go through. So launching there with brand new pieces for you on that Wednesday. Uh, but thank you for your designs as well. You're tonight very to welcome. It's absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure if the demos are anything as brilliant as they are tonight, you can be in for a treat on Wednesday as well. Make sure you find Lou for that. Uh, thank you again for myself as well for keeping us company this evening. Thanks very much, Dean. More after this. Thank you.